Today we're going to fit the uh, Funderus Funder Farms VESC. Uh, comes nicely boxed, um, all the way from Sweden to the UK, into the Max 8 um, original style and also onto the uh, Tonic from A5. Let's see what's inside the box. So inside the box you get the actual fan with a nice aluminium cover on it. And you also get the bottom plate aluminium which goes onto the ESC. Really nicely machined. Really nice and made. And then you've got this which goes into your direct into your ESC. You can get it so you can use a free S uh, LiPo to power it. Uh, I decided just to go for the 1800K which will go straight into the ESC. So let's take these off anyway, I have to come off. Itself. Looks very good quality. This is the part that actually goes onto the ESC. You see, there's a gap there for the cap back. So, obviously, we need to take out the um, old ESC cover. First of all, we just take out the actual plugs. <laughs> Now the reason I'm changing this is A, to try and keep the ESC as cool as possible, but B, the uh, fan that's in this has actually lost a couple of blades, so it's not working as well as it could be anyway. And I did look at making one of these fans myself, um, because you can buy just the bases. So this bit here, you can just buy, but it's from a company in uh, Belgium, I believe. Um, and they're not that expensive, but the shipping costs are absolutely ridiculous at the moment. So it was worked out just as cheap to actually buy the whole unit from Funderus. Especially with how weak the pound is at the moment. I think it was meant to be seven, well it was 75 euros, but that only worked out about 65 pounds shipped for the full fan, which I don't think is bad at all. So this needs to come off now. That's the old fan, and as you can see, it's missing two fins. So to get this off, you've got two options. You can either unsolder these, or you can just snip the plastic here and here and take it off. That's what I'm going to do off camera. Now off, 
just had to cut it on either side. I mean, if you want to keep hold of this, then you could just obviously desolder everything and slide it off, but I have no intention of keeping it. Which actually screw this down into the heat fan. Um, so I'm not going to use any Loctite because it's going to be actual heat sink. I don't want to damage the heat sink. So just place it in there like that. So I've had to use some, these are the screws that you get with it, and I've had to use some short ones uh, because the Phillips ones just did not work. So that seems like it ain't solid now. This needs to go in there, like so. There we go. And that seems like pretty solid. Feels nice and solid and firm in there, but we shall see. <clears throat> One thing with this as well is if your um, ESC can go up to 7.5, uh, BEC uh, sends your BEX up to 7.5, it'll run the fan a lot better, uh, which is what I've done already.
Well, that is that's the worst thing I have. Seriously. That's definitely found it a lot cold air in that. I mean, it's absolutely freezing. So, fingers crossed. That will keep the ESC nice and cool. Um, I might get one for the motor, but this one here uh, from Yeah Racing um, seems to work quite well actually. Um, and I like this motor mount that goes on. So um, we'll keep an eye on that, maybe in the summer. But yeah, that's brilliant. I'm no racing, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. And then um, get these wires tidied up a little bit. Um, but yeah, all good. So, um, yeah, like I said, I'll put a link to where you can get these from. I'm not saying they're the best thing ever, I've not tested it yet, um, but I just wanted to put a quick video of how to install this and um, where I got it from. Thanks for watching, take care.